everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event. Ten rounds in the lightweight division, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. hit but he gives it right back not able to land the uppercut how about a return to sender with the left hand there's the combo to the body the man's defense did a good job there able to avoid that punch Double jab upstairs. Halfway through this round here. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Very nice defensive guard there. Now he's putting his punches together. The combination upstairs. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by the man. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy. And so many times, it's, hey, I'm going to bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's going to try to move on him. So start doing it early on. And later on, he's going to have a guy in front of him. Committing to the combo now. Both land. Countdown, the final moments of this round. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by the man. You can almost see it just by the way a fighter sits down on their stool at the end of a round. As we come to the end of this round, you can tell that he's full of confidence and he can't wait to get right back out there and continue doing what he's doing. Well, you're right. The first thing that I notice is his back's not leaning against the corner pad. You know, that's a defeated fighter. That's a fighter. He don't want to go back. Something bad happens to him. You know, he's leaning back like that. You have to pick him up from the stool. He's got all his weight forward. He can't wait to get going. You know that he's positive. You know that he had a good round. The man's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Comes with the right. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. The man's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Big shot there. He goes down for the first time. But he's going to continue on, beating the count. Get up, get up. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Not able to land the headshot. Very nice work with the double jab up top. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Not just loading up, 
He's landing combination punches like he did right there. More than one, and it's just what he wants. The man's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Nice strike after catching one by the man. Looking good. Looking good. He's tired. Look at him. He's so fucking tired. He's got nothing left. Now listen to me. I need you to double up. I wonder if those 60 seconds were enough, Teddy. He was knocked down in that last round. Now he's right back out there. That 60 seconds has been enough for fighters in his position before. The sport's been around way over 100 years. It's up to him to do the things he needs to do early on in this round. The man's keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. He fires off the combination there and it lands. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Nice work doubling up that jab. Come on, punch! That's okay, that's okay. Let it go, let it go. that uppercut nice combination landing more than one both were able to score last 10 seconds of round number three and that does it for this round got to breathe the man's enjoying a big lead here, Teddy, and we talk about this often as we begin round number four up three to zip on your scorecard. When you have scored a knockdown that early in a fight, a real hole for your opponent to try to overcome. Yeah, because now he has to start taking chances that maybe weren't in the game plan. And as he takes chances, gets a little reckless, and as you're seeing, gets caught more. Wow, he backs up the combination, landed all four of them. The man's making for a clinic here in combination punches. Well, the first couple punches here, Joe, they're throwaway punches to really set up the payoff down the road. You see the third punch, the fourth punch, the fifth punch. They're the ones that wind up landing. He's got that quick trigger, that little double jab there. Boom, boom. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Carries the punch, puts one in there. The man's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Getting comfortable with that jab, isn't he? Comes right back at him with a left hand. And yet another big shot comes in. Oh, this is going to be close. 
He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your hands moving. Round number five has arrived. He missed with that headshot. Go! Go! Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspirin and then... Go, oh, no. Actually, I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Well, he's got the attitude, something's got to stick. He fires off the combination, and they both do. Oh, and Comes right back at him with the left hand. Right. Committing upstairs now, he goes there again. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. Not focusing. You're not focusing. Committing up top now, he goes there again. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the man. Here in these later rounds, you can start to see a trend, and one is keep developing. Moving, moving. He Come cannot on, get away from that left hand. Now listen, when you throw your punches, it's not enough just to chuck them out there. You gotta throw them from the right distance. He's throwing them from a little too close where he's vulnerable. Oh, what a left hand. What a big shot. He goes down. Oh, he may be close here. Can he survive the round? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And round five comes to an end. Unable to beat the count. It'll go down as a knockout, Teddy. Perfectly timed punch. For the official particulars, let's send it up to the ring. what you want to see a guy who can close the show and finish with style he ends up a knockout victor tonight and that's what his trainer wanted his trainer was even telling him step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible and they got it for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore saying thanks for being with us